Done. We'll be a part of this video. Okay, okay, I'll stop. We do want to eat dinner at some point tonight. Done. How's it going, everybody? So, today I've got my daughter joining with me, Amy. She is helping me make this dinner. If you guys watched last week's video, you would have seen uh, the rabs that we got on the road hunting. And that is what is for dinner tonight. We are going to be making rabbit noodle soup. I'll tell you guys, it's a pretty easy, simple recipe to follow. Not too hard, just takes four hours. It's a longer time because you have to let it simmer. But really good recipe. We're going to dive right on into it. All right, so what you want, of course, you'll have your rabbit quartered. I already quartered it, rinsed it, got everything taken care of there. Got some chicken stock, uh, minced garlic, salt and pepper, sliced carrots, celery, onion, and I'm going to try mushrooms. I haven't seen any recipes that do mushrooms in it, so we're going to try mushrooms and see how that works out. Some chopped parsley, fresh rosemary, and fresh thyme. Other than that, you just need some olive oil in a pan. I'm going to be using a stock pot. And what we're going to do to start, you want to lay out your rabbit. And we're going to salt and pepper the rabbit. After. All right, so we got the rabbit salt and peppered, and I've got the stock pot getting hot with some olive oil on the bottom of it. You don't need a lot of olive oil, just enough to cover the bottom. And you're going to brown the rabbit on both sides. And then I'll show you what you do next. Next to the microwave. All right, it's going to be a little noisy, but we got the rabbit nice and brown. Oh, got the GoPro too close. Got the rabbit nice and brown. So now we're going to add chicken stock to it. You want just enough chicken stock to cover all the rabbit meat. <laughs> so the rabbit's in the chicken stock. We're going to let it simmer for right at an hour. Set the timer. And when we come back, it's going to be ready to add all of our veggies in and some, some extra liquid, and then we'll continue to cook. It's a really hearty meal, you guys. This sari smells really good. And once we get all these seasonings and everything in it, oh, it's going to be amazing. Guys, rabbit's been simmering for an hour in the chicken stock. Now it's time we're going to add all our cut veggies. So, Amy, go ahead and start bringing them over here. All right, so we got our carrots, our onions, our thyme and rosemary. We got a couple pinches of parsley in here, and then we're going to simmer it for another two to three hours. That'll get that meat nice and soft. It should be able to pull right off the bone. Should make a really good soup here, guys. All right, so we got all the veggies in the pot now, except for the mushrooms. We're going to add the mushrooms about halfway through. We're looking to simmer everything for two to three hours. We're looking to simmer everything for two to three hours, and then towards the end, we're going to add some fettuccine noodles, and that's what's going to give us the noodle soup. All right, so we're a little bit past halfway through, and I'm going to start adding the mushrooms into the rabbit noodle soup. And then I'm also going to grab out the rabbit, and I'm going to debone all the rabbit. That way we don't, we don't have to worry about bones, but it shouldn't be too hard. Just grab about with uh, tongs, and I will debone it by hand. Uh, obviously be careful there might still be some smaller bones left in the pot so be mindful of that but most of it should be oh, really hot most of it should be really good tasty rabbit meat all right so we got most of the rabbit meat deep bone there might be a few more pieces in there hiding we're gonna go ahead and add this back into the rabbit noodle soup so now all you want to do is just cook it until the noodles are done and tender, the fettuccine, and then it's ready to serve. All right, guys, fettuccine noodles are tender. We are ready to dish up some bowls. Hoping that the addition of the mushrooms works out pretty good for this. We're going to let it cool off a little bit, and we will be giving it a try. Rabbit noodle soup, you guys. Doesn't that just look good? All right, guys, so we got our bowls. We are going to go sit down and eat. It smells amazing. A lot of flavor in this. Amy says it's good to go. 
I'm going to be trying it when I sit down here in a second. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. Uh, the mushrooms added I think might be pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty hearty meal, especially for, you know, cold winter's day. Throw a few oyster crackers in there. And you've got yourself a bowl full of goodness.